How's it going? How's your day? Hopefully it's going well. Mine's going great. Today we're going to be doing falling and perseverance. So without further ado, let's get started. Face me, attention, and back. To get started, I would like you to sit on the ground real fast. Crisscross applesauce, hands on your knees. This past week, we actually did a testing at the park. Oh, we got to go outside and have fun and do a whole bunch of things. Now, at the park, a lot of the kids there showed perseverance. It was a very hot day, and at any point in time, they could have gave up. But they didn't. So let me ask you guys, what is perseverance? Well, perseverance is never giving up. So say with me, say never giving up. Perfect, say it again. Never giving up. It means constantly trying your best and never stopping. Now put your feet together. Slowly right back and forth. So let me ask you a question real fast. What is one time in life, one time that you've experienced that you really wanted to give up, but you didn't? Think about it. Think about it. But let me tell you one of mine. One time I was running a mile. And about halfway through, I found it hard for me to breathe. It was getting very, very hot. Now, at no point was I in danger. I just really didn't want to run anymore. But instead of stopping, I kept pushing myself forward. And that was the fastest mile I have ever ran. See, I was tired because I was pushing myself so hard. And if I would have given up halfway through, then I wouldn't have such a fast mile. I'm sure you guys have your own story where you push yourself past where you felt comfortable to make sure that you could finish. A lot of people at the park probably have a story from this past weekend. Now, speaking of perseverance, I want you to touch your knees to the ground and then touch your nose to your toes. At certain points, you're going to want to come up, but I don't want you to, okay? I want you to hold it down as long as you can. Are you ready? Go! Now, if you need to wave out your feet to get all the stinkiness away, I would have done that before, but now would also be a good time to do that. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it, and bring your nose up, and say crisscross applesauce. Now we're gonna get started on our main lesson today, falling and standing up, falling and standing up. Now, the fall is, it's important to do it the right way. There's a wrong way to fall that we can seriously hurt ourselves. So, let me talk about some of the wrong ways to fall. So first, a wrong way to fall is like this. Why is it wrong? Well, if I put my hands down, I'm gonna hurt my shoulders. Now when I'm falling from the ground, it's not a big deal, but if I was falling from standing and I landed here, ouch. Another wrong way to fall is to fall flat. Ugh. Feel free to try that out as long as you're not on hardwood wood floor. Keep your back straight and fall straight back. <laughs> it doesn't feel great either. And finally, and I would say the most dangerous way to fall is to fall like this. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Let me do it again. Let me see if you can spot it. Ready? Go. Ugh. What did I do wrong there? Well, I would say the wrongest way I fell is because my head touched the ground. So if we know all the wrong ways to fall, it's going to be pretty easy for us to find the right way to fall. We just have to do the opposite of what we just did there. So first, you know, the most incorrect way was when my head hit the ground, so I should tuck my chin. Second, I fell badly because, you know, my back was straight, so I want to curve my back and rock. And then finally, I don't want to put my hands to stop me, so I'm going to slap the ground. And guess what? That's how you fall. So real fast, let's practice those steps individually. I want you to sit like this, super relaxed. I'm never gonna let you sit like this again to so take advantage. Now, while we're here, I want you to touch your chin, and I just want you to rock back and forth like a baby. Do it a couple of times. One, two, final time, three. Now, if I don't stop myself, I'm gonna keep rolling, so I just rock back and slap out of 45. 45 degree angle by your belt. Are you ready? Go. One. Go. Two. Go. Three. Go. Four. Go. Five. Now, I want you to do it one more time. 
time, but I want you to do it facing me. Are you ready? Set. Go. I held up a number. What number did I hold up? I held up four. Now, if you did not see that number, it's because you weren't tucking your chin. So this time I want you to tuck, tuck your chin and see if you can see the number. Are you ready to fall? And fall. What number was I holding up? Did you guess three? If you did, you're correct. Final time, are you ready? And fall. If you said nine, you would be correct. All right, so now that we know how to fall, we're gonna talk about standing up. Now, guess what? There is a wrong way to stand up. And I'll tell you right now, you're probably doing the wrong way. You may have even seen your parents do the wrong way. Because when we stand up improperly, it tends to hurt a little bit. You tend to make noise like, ugh. So, let me show you a good way to stand up. A way that can help you feel good after you stand up and keep you safe. So here's what the first thing I want you to do. I want you to plant your foot on the ground. Have the other one sitting like this. Now take your hands and set it on the foot that's not planted. The side of the foot that's not planted. From here, I'm gonna lift up my hip off of the ground. Try it three times, go. One, two, three. Now after I lift my hip up, up off the ground, I'm gonna bring my foot through and make a house with my legs. At this point, I'm gonna lift up my hands and straighten my knees. Let's try this out more fast. Sit on down. Whoop. I fell down just because I find it more fun. All right, let's get ready to stand up. And go. Plant, plant. Hands to the side. Lift your hips up, feet wide, and stand up. All right, now sit back down. Now when I say go, I want you to stand up. First time, we're gonna do it really, really slow. I'm gonna help you out. Second time, we're gonna go a little bit faster and I'm not gonna help you. And then the third time, you're gonna race me. Are you ready? And go. Plant. Feet, hands, hip. Stand up. Perfect, sit back down. All right, let's go a little bit faster. Ready? Go. Your goal is to stand up faster than I can. Ready, set, don't go yet. Ready, set, go first. Ready, set, go. Now sit back down. Did you beat me? This time when you do it, when you stand up, I want you to give a loud key up. Ready, go. Aya! All right, final time. Ready, and go. Great job today, guys. Hopefully you had a little bit of fun and you learned something new. Falls are a very important part of our training and they help us make sure that we're safe. Remember, there are wrong ways to fall. And if we fall the wrong way, we can hurt ourselves. So feel free this week to practice these falls all by yourself. When you're sitting on the ground, do a couple falls to practice. Practice standing up properly. And in no time, you'll be a master faller. All right, one final bow. Face me, chariot, kunye. Guarding stance, aya. Who's the winner? I am. What do you want to be? Black belt. One tornado high five, and you're free to go. I will see you guys next week.